Hey Barbara, do you happen to be in trouble? I'm not in trouble. Oh, <laughs> well, you're a surprisingly dull person. What? What are you talking about? Never mind that. Why did you suddenly leave in the middle of the lunch meeting? Because you disappeared so suddenly. Everyone was so surprised. And you didn't even pay for the meal. The cost was only $20, right? If it's that much, you guys can take care of it. I'm busy shopping. Shopping? I thought you had some urgent business, but you didn't? I guess you could say it's urgent. Did you have to go shopping in such a hurry? I did. For the look at things, it seems like you haven't noticed at all. What's going on with you? You seem awfully excited. Of course I am. I had an extra income. Extra income? I thought you seemed like you had a lot of money, but do you usually carry around that much money? No, if anything, I don't carry a lot of cash. So you just happen to have some on you today? Huh? Thanks to you, I'll be able to give him a present. I wonder if this will make him like me. By him, do you mean that favorite guy you were talking about? Correct! You are free to pay tribute to men, but you should moderate. As I recall, the other day, you spent too much money and your husband got mad at you, right? I guess so. Your husband doesn't know you're spending money on men, does he? How could he know? Let me tell you something first. Don't ever tell my husband. Otherwise, you'll never get this money back. Money? I didn't lend you any money, did I? You've been acting a little strange. Are you hiding something? If you haven't noticed, I'll tell you. Actually, at the lunch meeting earlier, I secretly borrowed money from you. Borrowed? Everyone was so absorbed in the buffet while everyone was getting their food. I was, you know, rummaging through everyone's bags. And then I found a lot of money in your bag. Is that true? It's true. If you think I'm lying, why don't you check? I think the money is gone. No, I really don't know what you're talking about. Were you feeling panicked because you didn't know where the money went? God, that's too funny. Are you in a hurry because you lost $10,000? I bought a luxury watch with the money I stole from you. I can't pay you back because I spent it all. Uh, I don't know anything about that money. Huh? You had it in your bag, right? Like I said before, I don't carry cash. I wouldn't put $10,000 in my bag. Are you sure that was my bag? Your bag was the Prada bag, right? Yes, but I didn't put any cash in it. Then who do you think the money I spent belongs to? I think that money is a reserve fund for our mom friend trip. What? What do you mean? Maria, I think you mixed up my bag with Elizabeth's bag. What? Elizabeth? Yeah. Elizabeth, she's organized our upcoming mom's trip, and today, she was going to transfer the money she collected today. The trip that I refused to go on, right? That's right. And she was the organizer again? Yeah. You know, her bag and mine are... I mean, they're different brands, but they look the same. That's why you made the mistake. Now that you mention it, you both had similar bags. I'm just going to check. The Elizabeth we're talking about is THE Elizabeth, who's the leader of the mom group, right? The Elizabeth who's scary when she gets angry? We only have one mom friend, Elizabeth, at our kindergarten. Ugh, it was her money, of all things. To be correct, it's not her money, it's our money. Can we have that money back? No, I've already spent the money. I can't give it back. We need it back. Without that money, we're not going to be able to go on the trip. You know, do you think Elizabeth knows that I took the money by mistake? Of course she knows, and she's furious, too. You're lying. Is she that mad? Of course she is. We worked so hard to save this money. Everyone's mad at you. If you're not going to pay us back, they're talking about turning you into the police. The police? That's just not right. Well, Elizabeth wants to talk to you, so 
Can't you two talk it out? I think it's better to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion first, rather than a big group discussion. With Elizabeth? Yes, with Elizabeth. But she's really mad at me, right? We're mad at you too. If it's our other mother's friend, I think I could manage, but I don't want to be yelled at by her. What if she turns me into a pulp with her fists? Uh, what do you think she is? I agree that she's scary when mad, but I don't think she'd ever raise her hand at you. But she's saying, if she tries to get away with this, she's never going to forgive you, so you'd better call her as soon as possible. Okay. Barbara, I'm really sorry about the other day. I'd like to apologize in person if we could meet. I really wanted to apologize. Hello. I'm glad you've learned your lesson. Of course. I mean, after what Elizabeth did to me. I guess you're right, but you should be glad that she didn't turn you into the police. Yeah, well, so you know, I felt like I wronged you the most, so I'd like to apologize in person, and I've got some fancy presents for you. Can we meet soon? You don't have to give me anything, just the feeling of remorse is enough for me. But, besides, I got my money back, that's enough. That doesn't help me feel any better. Please. Well, if you insist. Great. How about lunch tomorrow? I'm free. Great. Okay, I'll meet you at the neighborhood cafe. Okay, I'll meet you there. Of course, I'll pay for the meal. You don't have to worry about me. I can at least pay for my own meal. No, no, no. It was my fault this time, so let me pay for it. Well... I'll take your word for it. Well then, I'll see you tomorrow. Maria, what are you doing? I thought you said you were sorry. Oh, no? You've already noticed? I thought it was suspicious when I saw you were gone while I was away from the table, so I checked my wallet and my card was gone. Can you give it back to me right away? I'm not going to give it back. It's your fault for leaving your valuables behind, isn't it? That's because you said you'd look after them, so they'll be safe. It's your fault for falling for my act. I was a fool to trust you, for even a second. I was quite a good actress, right? Maybe I'll become an actress. If you come back right now, I won't make a big fuss. So, what are you going to do? What do you mean? I'll give it back after I use it. After using it? How are you supposed to use it if you don't have the pin number? I'll be fine. Actually, I was sneak peeking at your pin while you were shopping. Unbelievable. Not only are you stealing things, you're stealing personal information too? Hey, don't talk about me like I'm a thief. What you're doing is stealing, and using someone else's credit card is fraud. Do you understand? So what? I know it's a crime, but I used your card. What? You already used it? Of course I did. This time, I bought a wallet. This is also a gift for men. <laughs> Maria, I didn't know you were a person without common sense. Someone like you? A mother? Goodness. That's rude. I may be like this, but I'm raising my kids well. I'm sorry, but I will never forgive you. What? <laughs> Don't tell me you're thinking of turning me into the police. Yes, I am. I'm going to talk to my husband and I'm going to thoroughly hunt you down. What? Talking to your husband won't help. Will it? What? Didn't you know? My husband is a lawyer. A lawyer? Yes, he is. You didn't know that. No, I didn't. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't have a chance to tell you and it's not something I need to share. If your husband was a lawyer, I wouldn't have done this. You know, you did something wrong, don't you? Don't tell me you're planning to sue me. Of course I am. First, I'll file a police report and have him arrest you. I don't want to be arrested. My husband said he'll divorce me if I cause trouble again. If I get arrested, I'll get a divorce, no questions asked. It's your fault for not learning your lesson and stealing from others, isn't it? 
I think people like you need to bite the dust once to understand. I'm going to file a lawsuit against you. I did this just to harass you a little. I didn't do it for money. Even if it was harassment, it's a crime. Besides, you already used the card, didn't you? I mean, you wanted money, didn't you? That's... I'll report what happened to your husband too. Wait a minute! I don't want you to tell my husband! I'm going to. First of all, didn't you think that your husband would find out right away? He forgave me the last time, so I thought it would be okay this time too. The only one who said we should forgive you was Elizabeth. What? The rest of my friends, including myself, wanted to send you to the police. Oh, I see. I mean, Maria, you've been sneaking around taking from other friends too, haven't you? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. This may be the first time you've stolen that large sum of money, but you've been known to sneak out a few hundred dollar bills or steal jewelry without being noticed. You've always been stealing jewelry without being noticed, right? Our friends have always thought it was weird that something would be missing after hanging out with you. But you have no proof that I stole! I'm sure the police will be able to figure that out from now on. That's why I don't want to go to the police! If you don't want to go to the police, you must have something to hide. It's not like that. Please, please, for once, can you just tolerate me? I'll return your credit card right away, and I'll pay you back the money I spent. If you tell me never to get involved with you again, I don't care if you stop being my friend. Please forgive me. Are you really sorry? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I see. Maybe you'll forgive me? I know it because you're always so nice, Barbara. There's no way I'll forgive you. I've already filed a police report, and I reported it to your husband. What? When did that happen? While I was texting you? And by the way, I told your husband that you've been spending all your money on men. I told him about it. Hey, don't tell him that. How did you get his contact information? Your husband's contact information was on the school's contract list, wasn't it? I called him from there. Wow, come to think of it. You're right, I put down my husband's number. Did my husband say anything? He's definitely angry. Rather than mad, he's dumbfounded. He said he can't deal with you anymore. Lies. It's over. If he divorces me, I don't know how I'm going to live by myself. Before you talk about divorce, you have to go to the police first. Uh... I'm sure the police will be at your house soon. You'll have to deal with them. Wait a minute! Does that mean I'm going to become a criminal? You will almost certainly become a criminal. What you did is a crime. I don't want to! Please, take it down right now! I can't. We're going to hunt you down, so be prepared. Oh no! Maria was then arrested by the police who arrived at the scene. From her house, they found some accessories that had been stolen from a friend of hers. Various crimes piled up, and she was fined in order to pay alimony. Naturally, her family abandoned her and divorced her. With the help of my husband, I asked for as much alimony as I could squeeze out of her. Apparently, Maria paid the amount of money she was demanded to pay through a loan. She is currently working day and night in a faraway place to pay off her debts. We, on the other hand, are very happy to be able to go on the trip we had planned. I don't want to have anything to do with a poisonous woman like Maria ever again. It must be tough being poor. I really feel for you. Oh, Susan. Is something wrong? It's rare to get a text from you. The last time I was in your neighborhood glamping, I saw your whole family together for the first time. What's up with that? Oh. It was the first time I showed you my husband and son. Yes, it was, wasn't it? You know, you're supposed to come and say hello to me as a family. Everyone's trying to save face with me. Of course, I'm so sorry. I just moved here. I didn't know the rules around here. Goodness, people from poor families? You must be poor in the head too. I'm sorry. Not to mention poor. When I came to the venue, 
First of all, what was with that car? Oh, the car that we drove? It's easy to drive. I like it. It's orange, my favorite color. Easy to drive? That's a domestic car, right? Yes. Yes, it is. I can't believe you came to a luxurious venue in Manhattan in a commoner's car like that. Is there some kind of rule? People usually drive foreign cars. There was one commoner's car amongst all the luxury cars. It was so embarrassing. I didn't know there was such a rule. I'm sorry. And what were you guys wearing? Clothes? We basically dress like that when we go out. Oh, <laughs> was it a brand? Which brand? It's a fast fashion brand. Fast fashion? I can't believe you wear those commoners clothes. So really, you must have no money. Recently, fast fashion brands have been collaborating with high brands. They're quite fashionable, you know? How can cheap clothes be fashionable? Unbelievable. And the best part, meat. Meat? Like I said in the letter, beef, sausage, I brought all kinds of things, you know? What was that meat? It wasn't any brand. And the wieners? They came in a weird bag. Yeah, I like those wieners. I buy them whenever I see them at the supermarket. That's dog food, right? It's not for human consumption. I don't think so. They're delicious. <sighs> I can't believe that someone like this moved into Manhattan. It's embarrassing. I don't think you need to be embarrassed. Manhattan is my garden. I have the responsibility to maintain the neighborhood's rank. I see. I'm sorry. My husband is a doctor at a nearby hospital. Everyone is under my husband's care. Ah, uh, that's the neighborhood St. Elizabeth Hospital. It's big there, isn't it? It's pretty old inside, though. Yes, it is. It's got a long history. If you compare the family of a doctor at a hospital like that with your family, it's so different. It's pathetic, really. Uh, okay. Hey, Margaret. It's been a while. How can I help you? Your son. I heard he messed with my Lisa. John? I haven't heard anything about that. I heard it from a neighbor's friend. It's just a rumor. You should directly talk to the two of them. Elementary school kids? It doesn't matter what they say. Ugh, a poor man's son messing around with my sweet Lisa? Shameless. You should be ashamed of yourself. That's a terrible thing to say. Of course, the son of a poor man, I'm sure he's poor at heart too. John is a good boy with a good heart. My Lisa wants to be a doctor like my husband. We don't have time to play with children of low standard. Your son, he's a delivery boy at best. My son is. Ah, okay, okay, that's enough. Shut up, because of your son, Lisa is devastated. She won't talk to me at all. It's all your fault. You're the one who contacted me. Whatever. I want you to stay away from my daughter for the rest of your life. Okay. Okay. Hey, Margaret? Your husband? Is he okay? What? Is something wrong? My husband saw your husband in the hospital today. He was wearing a suit. He was being escorted by the director. Ah, so today was the day he came to visit you. Today? You're visiting various hospitals? Yes, I do. I've been to quite a few hospitals. I see. Well, he's probably rusty. What? What's rusty? From being poor and not having enough to eat. I'm sure he got sick. I feel really sorry for him. Uh, what are we talking about? I heard the director was pale when he was talking to him, so he must be in bad condition. Huh? Well, his life expectancy might be short. Poor people. Should enjoy the last of your luxuries in your own way. Let's see. 
I think you're mistaken. No, I'm not mistaken. Your husband is sick. Bad enough to make the director pale. You're poor, so you can't afford that many luxuries. So I'm trying to give him a good last thought. What's wrong, Mrs. Poor? My husband? He's the president of St. Elizabeth, the hospital where your husband works. Huh? What's that? Hospitals don't have presidents, do they? You don't know anything. The hospital where your husband works belongs to a medical corporation called St. Elizabeth Institute, right? Yes. My husband is the president of that medical cooperation. That's a lie. That's impossible. Why not? My husband has worked in that hospital for years. I've never seen him. Oh, he recently took over for his parents and changed their policy. He said he's going around to listen what's going on in the field. I guess he wouldn't have known. Besides, if he was such a great guy, he should have more money. Riding in a commoner's car, wearing commoner's clothes, eating weird wieners. He doesn't look like a rich man to me. It seems like you can only judge people on the surface. What do you mean? My family has always taught me to be a person who understands the value of things. It's our family policy to enjoy the good things rather than the expensive things that show us off. It's the idea of enjoying the really good stuff rather than showing off. I try to buy clothes based on comfort. Of course, if there is a dress code, I wear proper clothes. I see. You know, like with cars, right? You don't need to use a luxury car for a short shopping or a long trip. Why go to the trouble of buying a luxury car for a short trip? Well, yes. Yes, that's right. Of course, we have a luxury car to take my husband to and from work, but we rarely use it unless we're meeting someone for business or something. You have two cars? No, four. Four cars? Yes. My husband likes to collect cars from all over the world. He buys them one by one, all while seeing how I react. Oh, wow. What's more, you made fun of the wieners that my son loves. Because who would eat that kind of thing? It's the same with food. You don't have to eat such extravagant food on a regular basis. A well-balanced diet is the best. And that wiener is my son's favorite. Of course, he also likes German sausages. But this is the best, he says. He eats it almost every morning. Oh no, you tricked me. Tricked? Please don't talk nonsense. I can't help but think you're trying to make me think you're poor. You surround yourself with cheap stuff. You just have a superficial view of people, don't you? You must have a poor heart. Ugh. What's more? What was it? Did my son mess with your daughter? Uh, yeah. I asked John, and he said no. What? Lisa's the one who's confessed to him. She's still in elementary school. She's so cute. How is that possible? Well, he said he doesn't like family members who are mean to his mom. So I heard he said no. It's a lie. Maybe that's why she won't talk to me. Who knows? Oh no. Also, last time you didn't listen to me, my son is studying too, you know. Of course, to become a president. So in the future, he might become your husband's boss. This can't be right, because your husband was talking to the director while looking pale. I thought he was sick. Oh, about that? That's him going around to hospitals that are in bad shape. What? Your husband's hospital. It's not doing so well. We're thinking of restructuring. Restructuring? Oh, by the way, your husband was in the list too. What? Oh no. My husband is doing his job well, and he's well liked by everyone in the neighborhood. Maybe that's why. Huh? Your husband, he has relationships with the moms in the neighborhood. That's a lie. I'm afraid it's true. The director has been consulted by several people. 
We think it might be a good idea to have him leave the hospital. Oh no, this area is my garden. I'm not leaving. My husband has the right to make the decision. I have no control over it. I don't know what's going to happen. Forgive me. Anyway, I heard they're having a meeting today. It all depends on the outcome. Y yes. After all that, after seeing all the evidence that the director presented to him, Susan's husband pleaded guilty and changed his job. After that, he went to a small hospital in a rural area with his family and is now riding a bicycle to visit his patients. With Susan gone, I continue to make friends with many of my neighbors and have little neighborhood parties.